Alright, I'm back, and this is Cyclonus, and I'm here with some gaming news. And uh, some very good news for Xbox owners around the world. Uh, the cat's been let out the bag. These are facts, true statements. No longer do we have to speculate what Direct X12 will do for the Xbox One. The speculation is over. Okay? So, for anyone thinking that Direct X12 won't do anything for the Xbox One, you're very foolish. And I don't think you know Microsoft that well to not even believe for one second that the Xbox wasn't built with Direct X12 in mind, which is crazy. <laughs> so, here we go. Now, there has been a uh, leak that's been out well actually not a leak it's coming from developertech.com which is a uh, a real substantial website for you know up to date information and uh all truth here folks no no lies at all uh interesting topic which uh states right here that they have been speaking Two developers about the Direct X12 and and what could Xbox One system architecture by AMD what benefits will be applied to the console now going back to the saying they are things that are not yet known about the Xbox One I mean when will people realize this? And for all the jokers and the ponies and the fanboys thinking that it will only benefit PC and not the Xbox One? That is crazy. That is crazy. And now you're about to become a fool and you're about to eat your own words. And I will leave the link to this article down in the description below. But just to sum up a couple of things, real quick, um, a sink shaders, a sink shaders are shaders that are implemented inside the Direct X12. All right, they were not available in its predecessor, which meaning Direct X11. Okay, now another thing is. A few PlayStation 4 titles have gone through the trouble. That's right. Let me repeat. A few PlayStation 4 titles have gone to the trouble of implementing the feature, such as Infamous, Second Son, and Battlefield 4. Okay? Now, let me repeat that. PlayStation 4 titles have gone through the trouble of implementing this feature meaning that the PlayStation 4 in fact is not as powerful as the Xbox One see these are the things that people don't understand and and this is the information that doesn't get to the mass majority of people PlayStation 4 had trouble implementing that feature okay it can't do it it's struggling to do it it's struggling to do something that is implemented in the Xbox One with ease Direct X12 aims to make this easy to implement and therefore most large game developers are likely to use it for increased performance in their titles and it goes on to say that some of the biggest games this year won't ship direct x12 but could be added a post release patch now let me repeat this some of the biggest games this year won't ship with direct x12 but could be added in a post release patch which means games that 
are not running on direct x12 could be patched to run on direct x12 do you know what that means i mean but we all told you so we all told you so everyone knew it but no one wanted to really face the truth i'm here to uh, speak the truth and they also spoke on the witcher 3 and batman arkham knight as being two of such titles that could benefit off this update okay pony land is quiet right now such large performance gains are achieved through allowing the graphics queue to be spread across multiple threads to compute simultaneously and reduce the time in which the hardware is left idle from having to wait for other parts of the graphic queue to finish before starting the next job this is amazing this this is amazing the architecture that Microsoft put in the Xbox one the truth is coming to the light soon it's coming man but the ponies and the fanboys were just in denial they didn't think this was real this is real ladies and gentlemen and uh, another thing it states here this will help to deliver more solid frame rates on the Xbox one and close the performance gap between multi-platform titles okay it will close the gap there will be no more gap there will be no more he say she say resolution yada yada that will end there's a chance that resolution will also be improved but at the least it will allow more effects to be used in games thanks to the more headroom to implement them if a resolution bump is to be delivered it's more likely that it will be due to DirectX 12's ability to break down the command buffer into smaller tasks and spread them across multiple cores to process faster and relay to the GPU much quicker now like I said I'm going to leave the link to this article down below uh, I'm speechless Xbox one is the best box now if you look closely we see the PS4 is using Mantle OpenGL right let me repeat that if you look in the article and you see the chart look at the graph of real developers feedback on the power of these graphic engines and these cores now we know and we can see the PS4 is using Mantle OpenGL and if you look at the chart it clearly shows DirectX 12 outperforming it I repeat, if you look at the chart, it clearly shows Direct X 12 outperforming it. There's no damage controlling that. Direct X 12 will have a huge benefit to the Xbox One. It is essentially unlocking its potential being held back by an age old APIs lack of understanding and how to utilize multiple threads and cores simultaneously and uh... that's all i have for today that's all the news cyclone is 245 and i'm out of here and my opinion counts hit thumbs up thumbs down uh... does it matter this is the truth and uh... hit that subscribe button and until next time y'all have a good one